Alright, so what exactly is a QR code? QR means quick response, okay? So it is simply a code that allows you to scan and then perform a given action on the internet. And how exactly does the technology works? You see, for you to be able to use a QR code, you need to have two things. First, you need to have the code itself and then you need to have an application that can allow you to scan the code, okay? So since I have an Android device, I'm going to go to Play Store or if you have an iPhone, you can go to App Store. In my case, I'm going to install the first app you see here on the screen. And once that is done, I can now open the app up. And let us say, maybe I have like this scan drink. You can clearly see the QR code on it. So what I will do will be to open the app I just downloaded from Play Store and position it directly on the QR code. It is going to scan the code and then prompts me to perform an action. That action can be maybe to purchase the drink or visit their website. Okay guys, that is generally the idea behind the QR technology. This technology has been in existence for so long, but nowadays people tend to use it more often. Our main focus of this video is to make sure that this QR code doesn't look black and white and boring. Okay, that is where the power of Photoshop is going to come in. So let us start by trying to see how we can create this QR code in the first place. There are many sites on the internet that can allow you to perform this action, but I'm using qrstuff.com because it is very fast and easy and it is free. So you should be able to follow along as well. So down here under the data type, we can see that we can create a QR code for a website, a plain text or even a PDF file. Okay. Then under the social links, we can create maybe a WhatsApp link, a YouTube QR code, Instagram or LinkedIn. We can even perform payments at a phone number or email addresses. Imagine creating a QR code and then sending to somebody to scan and then send you an email. That will be impressive, okay? So for the purpose of this video, let us say I want to link a particular user to this YouTube channel. So I want the user to be able to follow this live training right here. So take note of this video, guys. So what I'm going to do is to first copy the link of this particular video okay so i'm just going to click on it and i'll come to the bottom here where it says share i'll click to share it and after a few seconds you have the link to that particular video here what i'm going to do now is to click on copy so i'm now going to return back to the qrstuff.com and what i'm going to do is to come to social links and then click on youtube you can clearly see here it says enter video id or url so i'm just going to right click and then choose paste you can see the YouTube link right here. And um, if we look at the bottom, we can say next step and the QR code will be generated instantly. So what we need to do now is to just come here to where it says download. We can choose JPEG or PNG. I'm going to go with JPEG. Okay. So I'll click on JPEG and the image will be downloaded just like so. We can right click on the image that has just been downloaded and choose show in folder. Okay. So right now I'm going to open Photoshop up and then import this image. All right, you can see inside Photoshop that this image is really tiny, okay? And to see how tiny it is, let us go to image and then choose the image size command. In the image size command, let us switch these units to inches. And you can see this image is barely two inches by two inches. So I'll first of all start by switching from inches to percent. Right now, the image size is currently 117 kilobyte, okay? So what I'm going to do is to crank this width value up to 1000 200 pixels just like so and then let us change the resolution to 300 now we have a much bigger and clearer version of that particular image so what i'm going to do to select this qr code is to go to my toolbar right here and select the magic one right now i'm going to increase the tolerant value to 50 and then make sure that i uncheck contiguous okay then i'll click on the white background to select it now you clearly know that the white background is not what i intend to select so I'm going to press Ctrl Shift plus I to invert that selection just like so. Now what I'm going to do is to just hover inside the selection with the magic wand tool. I'll just hover inside, you see, it changes to that direct selection tool. Now what I'm going to do is to drag this selection just like so. And then I'll just drag it onto this poster and then I'll just hold down the Shift key while I release. The reason I'm holding down the Shift key is because I intend to make everything proportional. So here you can see I already created the QR code group. So I'm going to add a new layer on that particular group. And then what I'm going to do is to go to layer with the selection still active on the screen. I'll go to layer and then choose new fill layer, then choose solid color. And then I'll just rename the layer to QR. 
then say okay right now by default it is filled with black okay because black is the default color here but i intend to change it to a color that will have enough contrast from the background so i'm just going to click here and then try to customize that color like so all right here we go we look on this layer we have the color which has been applied to that particular selection so i'm going to right click on it and then choose convert to smart object then the next thing i'm going to do is to select my move tool i will zoom out to see the whole selection and then i'll just click here and then just pull it down just like so okay all right i'll scale it down even further to make sure it fits within this frame now when i'm done i just hit the check mark to confirm now what i'm going to do since i'm happy with the way everything looks i'm just going to export this image so i'll go to file and then choose export right now we see quick export as png that's not what i want i want a jpeg so i'll go to export preferences under export i'll click on this pull down menu and choose jpeg and also make sure the quality is set to 100 now if i go to file and then choose export i will now see quick export as jpeg now i will give it the name tmx poster and then just say okay right now if we open the image up you will be able to see that custom qr code right here okay so i'm going to hold down the control key and zoom in so that we can be able to scan to see actually what happens okay then what i'm going to do is to make sure that i open the app i installed from play store a moment ago and then try to scan the qr code right here on the screen after scanning the qr code you can see here on my phone screen that we have the link here at the top and when you click on that particular link you will be taken to that particular video on youtube okay guys this is very very helpful okay guys you can see that with the help of photoshop we are able to customize the QR code in color and also making sure that it suits the colors of our design, okay? This is very nice as it can encourage people maybe to follow our program, to subscribe to our channel or visit our website. Alright guys, this is very practical and helpful. Hopefully, you learned something out of this video guys and if you got value out of it, please encourage the channel by subscribing. When you subscribe, it gives me a lot of energy to create content like this even more. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.